Has Unum denied your disability insurance claim? Listen to this history of Unum and class actions. Hi, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board certified disability insurance lawyer. Unum, the largest disability insurance company in the nation, is no stranger to lawsuits and to class actions. In addition to facing thousands of individual lawsuits filed by policyholders who allege their disability claims were wrongfully denied, the company has been on the receiving end of many class action lawsuits for insurance bad faith practices since 2002. Working on the basis of power and numbers, a class action is an effective way for ordinary people with equivalent legal complaints against the same offender to take on a powerful corporation. Under a Unum class action lawsuit, a group of people claiming a common grievance collectively bring a claim against Unum. Disability insurance lawyers act on behalf of the group and the judgment of the lawsuit is for all members of the group. And what's been called the Unum Provident scandal, Unum, then known as Unum Provident, had allegedly denied or terminated thousands of legitimate disability claims starting in the 1990s and continuing until 2002. This occurred to such an extent that the Department of Labor investigated the history of the claims denials made by Unum. The investigation included Unum subsidiary companies, which at the time were Unum Life Insurance Company, Paul Revere Life Insurance Company, and Provident Life and Accident Insurance Company. The Department of Labor found the company to be unjust and unfair by deliberately resorting to fraudulent tactics of claim denial in order to contain costs. The claims involved employee group disability policies. In an investigation that involved insurance regulators from 48 states, lawsuits against Unum were granted class action status for violation of ERISA laws. Under the court order, Unum was directed to reopen more than 200,000 denied claims and to reevaluate the claims based on their merit. After such legal actions and repercussions, you would think Unum would curb their disability claims handling abuses and learn to play by the rules. Yet according to a publication by the American Association for Justice entitled The Ten Worst Insurance Companies in America, as of 2007, Unum confessed that only 10% of the claims earmarked for reopening under the terms of the previous legal settlement had been reviewed. This topic is discussed more in my free ebook, Long-Term Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800 562-9830 to discuss your particular disability insurance issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.